There we go. I get loads and loads of questions on YouTube and on Instagram. If you're not following me, come along. Um, and I wanted to be able to answer those for you. So today I am starting with what do I do to my own skin? This I think is an interesting one because on YouTube I have a lot of face massage tutorials and that's not the only thing I do to my own skin. I'm uh, turning 45 this year, I am in the skincare industry so I do have lots of products and I've got a clinic in central London so I have got lots of technology. Yes I'm all about the holistic. I think what we eat and what we kind of how we live our lives is a huge part of it but then actually we want to get results as well. So face massage is one of those factors. Another big part of what I've seen as real skin game changers is ingredients such as uh, peeling ingredients, skin peels. They can be such skin changers uh, and they're not aggressive like you, you might think they are. The, the ingredients and how they're being formulated now is so clever. So a lot of my clients and on my own skin, we're going to be doing some regular low level peels. Occasionally it might be ne needed to step that up slightly to something stronger, um, but I find skin peels can be a huge wow when it comes to skin. Secondly, technology. I love a good face gadget. It is amazing what they can do to, to rejuvenate, to stimulate collagen, to drain, to deep cleanse. There is so many things. All the technology that I choose to use on myself and also within my clinic, I've tried and tested, and as far as I'm concerned, it's safe to use. So for example, there's something called microcurrent, which um, was originally developed to treat Bell's palsy. It's stimulating your own cell energy, uh, which naturally kind of reduces as, as we age. Then stepping up from that, there's something called radio frequency. I have recently written a blog on this, so you might like to go and have a look at that as well. It's basically radio frequency, it feels really lovely, it feels like a hot stone face massage, but it's heating within the tissue, the collagen fibers, to kind of cause uh, minute trauma to stimulate new collagen production. So it's working with your body's own ability to, to, to heal itself. Uh, so I find radio frequency is amazing for this, just kind of supporting and particularly around the eye area. Then stepping on from that, we've got things like LED light, which another form of safe technology, often it comes in a, a canopy. You can get some at home gadgets. I'm a little bit skeptical about most of them for, for how effective they are. But the LED canopies, if we're kind of focusing maybe on red light and near infrared, they're fundamentally stimulating collagen production. And then stepping on again from that, we've got things like lasers. Now, I know you're probably gonna be thinking, ooh, that's a step too far. Lasers and IPL, which is intense pulse light therapy, are working with light. As far as I'm concerned, there's nothing more natural than working with light. What they're basically doing is a really targeted light and a really targeted wavelength of light being put into the dermis to have an impact on a particular chromophore within the skin. So that could be reducing redness, it could be focusing on acne bacteria, um, it could be stimulating collagen and elastin, it could be reducing pigmentation. A lot of those things, yes, we can support with our home care and our products and amazing ingredients, but actually where we kind of want some, some more visible results, then actually combining with some of that technology is amazing. And for example, with someone who's, you know, with, with problems with acne, um, sometimes that's, that's needed. Um, or, or deep wrinkles and scarring. So all of that technology that I've just kind of mentioned, I use some of it to some extent on my own face. I don't get time to do it on myself as much as I would love to. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm busy kind of uh, doing this kind of thing and, and treating my clients. Um, but you know, I just wanted to, to let you into a little bit of the kind of things that I'm occasionally dropping in alongside the face massage tutorials that you might have seen.